Hello everyone, um, welcome to the Tech Point Africa podcast. My name is Tim Goffin. So, um, with me in the studio today are... Bolo and... Yinka. Yes, so um, we have a few stories to talk about, but before we get, it, get into it, uh, we would like to say thank you to everyone who was able to make it to the Modern Workplace Africa conference. It was, it was a great time um, seeing quite a few of you guys, quite a lot of you come over. So it was really a great time. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I don't know if you if you did not come, you missed out on a lot. There were some really important conversations, especially for the paid master classes. They were very, very interesting conversations there. And um, I don't know, you may have to pay a little fine, a little bribe to me from me and Onome if you want to get those classes. But yeah, thank you so much for those of you that came, for those of you that did not come. Um, you'll be taking your thank you from somewhere else. So with... Without further ado, let's get into the conversation for today. So, first is um, Iroko TV. So, some reports said they were shutting down, and we saw a different one that said, no, we are not shutting down. We are just having some um, some migrations. So, uh, I'm just curious. I mean, usually, uh, so for some for some services, when they are doing migrations or maintenance, yeah. they usually send, yeah, they inform users yes. or send emails. They should do something to like let the customers know that, okay, we are going to be offline for within this period. But I don't know if, did they, is it that they didn't do this for customers to suspect that they were, or for customers to think that they had shut down or something? Could it be that they didn't do this? So judging by um, what, what some um, customers told um, Tech Cabal, according to Tech Cabal article, they didn't know that there was some migration or maintenance going on. They just okay. found out that they yes. could not get access to um, the services mm-hmm. provided by Roku TV. And by the way, if you don't know what Roku TV is, if you are new in the industry, Roku TV has been around for quite some time. So if you are new in the tech space, you might not know. Might not know Eroko TV. So it's basically the Netflix for Africa. That's like the simplest way to put it. It's a platform that wants to um, make Nigerian content or just movies mm-hmm. global, like mm-hmm. available to everyone all over the um, planet, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what Eroko TV does. So um, for some time now, some, co- some customers complain that, oh, we could not, not yeah, we could not access it. They could not even download it from the Apple Store, Play Store, and they're like, "What's going on?" And you know, we're like, "Oh, they probably shut down." But then, um, Jason Unjoku, uh, the CEO of Eroko TV, he said they were not shutting down. That they were basically doing um migrations, right? F- uh, migrating from platforms that were designed for Africa, and then you know, mm-hmm. migrating out you know, out of Africa because, I mean, basically it's been, it's hard, you know, offering those type so of services to so Africans, Africa. right, because of, I mean, I mean um, basically um, the ability to spend here is re- isn't as right. much as... Then there's also the part of uh, uh, streaming. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, streaming is not big in Africa. Uh, yet. An average entrepreneur can quote... Uh, Africa has uh, one point something billion population, uh, uh, population. Yeah. but then uh, when you look at some certain uh, factors, you look at you know that figure, it's 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 very low. Uh, and of course, uh, Iroko TV has been around for a very long time, yeah, fact, twelve years now. Yeah, and there are a couple of uh, uh, streaming platforms, African streaming platforms that have come over the years and have like uh, packed their bags because of. Challenges and of course, streaming in Africa, it's even uh, 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 take Netflix for instance, which is like the uh, the, yes. the king of uh, of streaming. streaming. And then, when it come to Africa, it's not there at all. So, uh, right now, I don't think there's any African country that has up to a million or even 500k users on, on, Netflix. on Netflix. Was the last figure that uh, uh, was released was that. South Africa is the only country in the top uh, uh, um, countries by Netflix subscriptions in the world. And then, then South Africa was doing about 340, 350k users. users. 
Nigeria is not even on that list. And the lowest on that list is around 100, 100k or 50k, I think. And Nigeria doesn't, you don't even get to that to that point. So it shows that, yes, Nigeria is a population of 200 million, anyway, depending on, on, on who you are. So <laughs> 200 million, but then, yeah. Not even up to a million of those guys are on Netflix. So I'm I'm even I'm even going to guess that the whole of Africa does not have up to a million. Up to a million. Not up I mean, to a million of people are using Africans are using Netflix. Well, I mean that might be pushing it, but but it's still oh, very it's, it's still very it's like really not pushing. It was if um South Africa, which is like the biggest in Africa in terms of Netflix subscription, is doing three hundred and fifty. And Nigeria, which is like we should expect to have high number. Mm. Doesn't even have up to hundred as a den. Mm. Mm, I mean, okay, well, there's something to be said for that, but this is probably that that data is like a few years old. Twenty twenty one, actually. Twenty twenty one, okay, two years, and I think, and this is my personal and opinion. A lot I, of people have not have not bang, bang, bounced back from yeah, the effects of COVID, yes. and then the, but, the but I also think that there has been like. Especially with the success of Nigerian movies on Netflix in the last two three years, we've had King of Boys, um, come at which other movie? Like we've had a lot of, like Netf- Netflix, um, Hollywood movies that did really well mm. in the last two Black years. Book. Well, that doesn't mean people are going to Netflix <laughs> to watch. Have you been on Twitter? You see people asking of for Netflix of login. Course, of course, people uh, are. Doing what's that, but, uh, no, what's I'm that status? People are asking there for are Netflix people login. Who, are, who have? Okay, now this of course this isn't backed by uh, data, but I think that there there can be a correlation here. So Hollywood movies are doing well, and there's maybe a group of people who want to watch more Hollywood content, and then they realize, oh, okay, if I don't want to, um, if I don't want to get it from pirated websites, the best place to do that is on Netflix or maybe Amazon Prime, of course. Um, but I think the number should have grown. Um, of course, they will have to release official numbers for us to know. I suspect the numbers have grown, I mean, especially you know, with the investments they've made. See that a movie is content. released only on Netflix. Mm. I mean, yes, it's only available. of course, of course. pirate it. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. what? Mo- what most people are watching is this pirated one because yeah. you are not paying subscription. The only thing you are just worried about is just the data you need to to download them. Mm. I think so. Yes, a movie might be mm. very popular, and at the end of the day, <coughs> check the figure on Netflix in Nigeria. It's not really doing well. Also, Nigeria. The figures might be it might be doing well as an Nigeria, but then you bring that home. Yeah, so I, I just want to also say that um we 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 should commend um Iroko TV for lasting this long. I mean, judging by what because judging by what Netflix and the other big guys are doing, I'm pretty sure. Okay, maybe not pretty sure, but I I won't I would say they're probably making a loss, you know, being in Africa. So right? are but they I really think in Africa? Like, they're not really so, in Africa. You know, okay, they're they not really in Africa, Africa ago, but offering they moved to, to to London. So, yes, their core business they or moved their, their core so to London. Jason says eighty nine percent of their customers were outside wow. Nigeria. Wow! So it makes it so the movement is probably moving their server out of yeah. Africa because access. I was actually talking about Netflix. Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, that them commissioning or uh, um, actually licensing movies. Mm. Is probably them taking a hit. He, well, no, but it's a case yes. of, no, of course, it's of a course. numbers game. So of course. you are promising your uh, your users, your audience that you have you this get, catalog, mm. and then so there are some countries on Netflix that have over four thousand movies and shows. Wow. Mm. So and then to 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 sell to other people, you are going to promise them that yes, I have this so, so, so number of. Mm. Or movies and shows on my yeah. on my platform so come so that's it so that's why Netflix is going out buying uh, uh commissioning uh, um, projects and also doing doing some as well so I mean also to even look at it um so look at it this way you mentioned Black Book so let's use Black Book as um, a small case study so um you produce a movie in Nigeria Black Book is was reportedly produced at or with a million dollars um that is. That is what a very ridiculously low amount of money for any any not, um, Hollywood blockbuster, right? So you produce your movies in Nigeria, and people in in Europe, North America, they enjoy it. Lower costs, but you get to make a lot of money from mm-hmm. these guys. Mm-hmm. So it kind of they may not be taking a hit. Netflix may not be taking a True. like a significant yeah, hit. Okay. 
by investing in Africa because really what the how much are they investing compared to it could just be it could just also be a case of using uh, uh, what they are doing outside there are countries with millions of users yeah. on Netflix mm-hmm. so you are just using okay this is an untapped market yeah. so yes this is what we are getting there to just try and build this market and then when the market eventually uh, uh, mature enough that you have you know people with access to broadband, already positioned, you know, yeah. already positioned yeah. there, you already have a large catalog and uh, such like that. So. And obviously, it will, it will become a large market because Netflix is not the only one betting on the market right now. You know, other mm. players are coming in. Yeah, yeah. We've maybe seen not in Nigeria yet, but we've seen Disney Plus. Africa. Uh, but this is only available in South Africa. Yes. Uh, no, so it's not just um, the streaming platforms. We've also seen funds raised mm. specifically for that. Um, at the last count, I'm very sure at least two to three million dollars have been raised to mm. invest in um, in just creating content right now and or creating that, movies. And that's and small compared to what uh, Multi Choice is doing. Well, they are heavy mm. on uh, content. No, I'm talking about individual funds. So I've, oh, I've okay. seen a, I've seen a 500 million naira fund. Um, I can't remember the I can't remember exactly how much Volition Capital. So they um they also funded Black Book by the way. Oh. So um they have also raised the funds for creatives. So I think that um that and a few other funds that are probably going oh. to come up over the next few years may tackle because we always hear oh Nollywood movies are this way because they don't have yeah, the no, budget. No, mm. budget. So mm. maybe that at the very uh, because I think if you fix if you fix quality. Um, I mean, you can always sell your content anywhere, to be honest. You can sell your content anywhere, so you can fix um, quality. Um, yes, so moving on, MTN is uh, about to shell out 72.5M to the FIRS. That's the federal in Dollars on air. Uh, dollars, sorry. Okay. If, I, if I ever say anything under 100 million on this podcast, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's um, dollars, please. So $72 are, million. Dollars. Yeah, $72 million dollars for ah. tax evasion over 10 years. <laughs> um, I don't know it's who wants to add or subtract from that. I'm, I would just say, the prayers of or Nigeria in general, just yeah. take it easy no. on these people. No, please don't take anything tax, easy. This is tax, a year. tax evasion. It's uh, not it's something not to be a crime. Take on so on it's not supposed to be a crime. Tax evasion. Yeah, it's a crime. Okay, so tax evasion is a crime. crime. And considering that tax is the the the. Life I've blood lord of our life blood. I'm looking for money a, terribly. Uh, I'm looking for money. Say your senators are buying 150 yeah. million. You need to car. fund their you lifestyle. To, <laughs> <laughs> you need to fund their their lifestyle. Yeah. So, yes, tax evasion, and it's not just for, for corporates alone, mm-hmm. individuals, okay. individuals as well. Yeah. So, yes, think about it. You pay, you but, but I just think. Okay, they, they should probably pay for evading tax. It's a crime. They yeah. should yeah. suffer yeah. the no, consequences. But, but you, However, you, do, you pay what you owe. No, However, you can mm. negotiate it, but you still pay. However, what? However, Are you running a socialist economy? <laughs> <here? laughs> However, uh-huh. I think something should be done about because let's be honest, doing business in Nigeria is extremely difficult, yeah. right? People are running attacks. generator. The mast in my house, <laughs> right? I just said my house. Which does not give us light always. And the, ma- oh, the generator there goes light. off. No, not light. Uh, no, no, it does not always give us Yes, a and when that generator top. goes off, I'm back to edge or... 3G, something like that. Yeah, you have to go and read the book right first. Once that thing goes I mean, have to read book. Yes. Have life becomes unbearable. So, I mean, we know how important. It did. Several days. Yes, it, it gets really bad. Several days. Right? I would. So, yes, they pay for everything task. Uh, I say task. <laughs> tax. Tax. But do do tax. let's do something. <laughs> I was <telling> But let's. <laughs> Let something needs to be done yeah. about doing business in Nigeria. Yeah. Maybe he, before you they get everything right. Maybe that one is a different. Down. No, that's, okay. a, that's, that's a different. It's a different conversation. conversation. Yes. Yes. Say what shall the, be your tax? The Ministry of um, something digital something economy. Digital economy. economy. Yeah. Yes, there's something before the Our digital boss economy. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ministry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The ministry and then the the commission that is one of the commissions under the ministry. NCC. Uh, NCC. Will be will, okay. Yes. How can we kind of like make the economy? Yes. The economy is showing everybody, ha. but how can we make sure that Massive it doesn't city. affect affect everybody to that to that vel- uh, to that yeah. extent? Yeah. I'm sure the um, the mass in your area shutting down uh, um, doesn't happen like that before. Well, well that this, like is that well, that this is well, one thousand two hundred. Well, this, this is not expensive. Was it not happening like that? It was no. It wasn't happening like that. Before. Are you sure? No, it wasn't. Was, was it? it? Mm. It wasn't that bad. It's. 
it got to a time where when light goes, mm. I mean, I, I knew that wasn't happening before. When light day. goes, I can't send WhatsApp message again. <laughs> yes, like several times. So you, can't send WhatsApp you now know that, okay, there's something. Because it wasn't like that before. If light goes, waiting for silent light, and you're, you're still able to go. But then I noticed, I started noticing, I thought it was just a coincidence. But then I started noticing, okay, okay, this is a trend. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the kind of problems so, that we have in Nigeria, Sha. I mean, only so, God can help us. Yes, working with uh, relevant authorities. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, this is what we are facing, and this is how the government can come in and respond all that. Well, anyway, uh, still on MTN. So they were accused of causing losers to. They were accused of causing users to lose <laughs> money. After so, recycling their Momo or okay. um, numbers or recycling them to your numbers, so I mean I th- we all on, we all know what Momo is now. I don't need to be. Honest. Momo I'm is a, MTN's mobile mobile money service. So yes. in South Africa, a, a South African company, Itmit or Itmit Solutions it, or Itmit, Itmit, Itmit whatever, they are uh, or the they're accusing them of making customers to lose their uh, money that was in the Momo account. And um, MTN says, you know, that's not that's not our fault. So I mean, the matter is still going up. They are still they are still on it. On it, but um, MTN is saying no. We are not using you lost your money. This that this that. So I think we probably get a resolution at some point. But before um, they reassign your number, mm-hmm. that's to be a case of the number being dormant for yeah. a very. Uh, a long I mean, that's what but if there's right money there. on it and it has been dormant for a very long time. Is are it there, that you forfeit? Are there the chances? Money? No, are there chances that you have money in your account and the account? I'm not talking of change now. Say so you have say ten thousand, hundred thousand in mm-hmm. an account, and the account will be dormant. For are you know long. for a very long time that it's possible? What if the person dies or something? I mean, that well, if you if you die, then why are you complain about your your account being <laughs> <right? laughs> Exactly true. I mean, so, no verse. I do not yes. think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> It's I don't know, I don't know. I don't but know. yes, yeah. we now have uh, we're moving on to an update from an ever present um part or component of this podcast. <laughs> Bulu, tell yes. us what's up with um, Patricia. Our dear Patricia. Africa's dear Patricia. Think about it. That's a nice Africa's way to start a, le- a letter. Finance. I mean uh, I'm it might Sorry, not look wait, like wait, it, but I'm, I'm <laughs> rewind. I heard something. <laughs> I said Afri- Africa's finance. Yeah, no, no, you think they talk now. I mean, it has the potential. Well, maybe no, not anymore. No, but no, it's potential, ad- a potential the key rush for now. But <laughs> I don't know. All right, how, so how the joke fell flat. If you might, do you understand that? Please let's not let's not bring football into this. So, um, <laughs> as I was saying, sorry, you people are watching. This creature doesn't watch football. You guys, uh, you guys in the same category, but. Please, yeah, let's let's apologize for so I'm not apologizing it's, for that. It's really it's a sad development. Bro. Why is it a sad development? Can it's you really see? Sad. I mean, why can't see, you? See, why, see, what do you person do? that is like, really did they, report, you're not today. <laughs> okay, the moving podcast. on. Yes. So, um, if you've been following the podcast for some time now, you would have noticed, you know, that we've been talking about Patricia a lot because a lot has been going on at the company. Um, a quality um, hand. Yeah. So. Um, just to recap, in case you know you've not been following, so in May, Patricia announced that they were hacked, right? And the hack affected customer funds, just narrow customer funds, but not the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and probably Dogecoin funds, right? So they put withdrawals on old, on old customers were not allowed to take out their money, right? So after sometimes customers were like, "Where's our money? Where's our money?" You know things like that. I mean understand as a user of any financial services platform if you are not able to get access to your money you will vex or you will start becoming worried so Patricia was like okay here's the thing right so we'll create a token called the Patricia token and then we'll Pizza. issue it to you you know basically Pizza me creating pay. my own money and then giving it to you but the problem with me creating my money is that how do you now know the value so if I create Bulu coin Bitcoin for example and I say, oh, see. I want to. See. Not everyone would accept it from me because see. what's the see value of it for me. who me? Oh, think was not collecting. It's a good point. <laughs> so, um, not everyone will collect it, right? So that was the issue with Nobody. Patricia talking. People were like, how can you just turn? I have fifty million somewhere, and then you want to give me the supposed equivalent in a currency I'm not familiar with. But Patricia came out to um, 
explain that um, it was a for yes. like, that it was like a depth something something. In, they say I explain yeah, it somehow. Just something like a certificate right. that. Yes. So they will just give it. Yeah. So if they are owing you fifty thousand naira, they'll give you fifty thousand that yeah. of patricia token just to let you know that okay they are owing you fifty k. So it's fifty k will return to you, <laughs> right? And then after that, we heard that patricia was now trying to convince some customers to turn the money that Patricia was owing them to shares within the company. Basically saying, if I'm owing, if my company is owing Inca 50,000 Naira or $50,000 okay, because Inca is rich. Yes. My company is owing Inca $50,000. I'll go to Inca and say, okay, they went to Inca and they said, oh, Inca, that's your $50,000. Do you know you can get some equity in Patricia? <laughs> <Turn it straight. laughs> so, well, no, I mean, the obviously, money you, you, have, you have it. Obviously, customers did not take it like they even threatened to protest, right? And then there was some lights at the end. No, no, we've not, we've not at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> but we started seeing some silver lining, right? That okay, mm-hmm. maybe something good might happen. So, on the twenty fourth, Patricia announced that they've appointed an escrow trustee called a DLM Capital or DLM Trust, right? To help with paying back customers, which will start the first batch will start on uh, November 20, right? And you know, they were like, Oh, finally, something. And then the next day, like today, just the next day, that, that's not today, that, that was yesterday. Oh, yesterday, that was yesterday. DLM Trust says we are not doing it with Patricia again, right? Yeah, Patricia was like, Uh, no, it's because of you know, media backlash, things like that. The, and then DLM now says, okay, it's not that we are not doing it, we are putting it on a pause. Right, so we are pausing with it. And then today, or should I even say, like today, DLM Trust has now confirmed that we are not even doing it again. We yeah. have, we are, anything that is tying us and Patricia together, we are cutting it. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's been a very, it's been a very interesting story, but also on a more serious side, it's it just, it, it's concerning because this is becoming a, a bit weird, right? Updates after updates. Like, we just need, I'm, I'm sure people, if I was putting myself in a customer's shoes, I just need someone to tell me, okay, this is it's what happened. happened. Am I, I getting know, it back? Am I, I not, like, give me some kind of closure, I have a right? Question. Okay. You mentioned something that they said the act only affected. Yeah, money, the money Naira. They in Naira. Naira. Mm-hmm. So, and mm-hmm. I want to assume that not, not a large number of people will have their money in Naira because you move a money to a crypto exchange to exchange it for a cryptocurrency. So, you are not mm-hmm. going to put it there and just hold it there like a bank to, get, to mm-hmm. gain interest. Mm-hmm. So, and now, <laughs> the math is I, not this, math. This is where it's going. Saying, I, I see where you're You are playing two million... Uh, back to people, two billion. so I two billion, so two allegedly billion. two billion, no. two million, na- two million two dollars. Bi- no, two million dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, are you telling me that at the point they got act, mm-hmm. they had two million dollars in Naira? Naira. No, so this is it. If I move my money to an exchange, an exchange, I'm not moving it there to keep. I'm moving it there to exchange it for a cryptocurrency. I'm not going to move my money to Binance and keep it there in bank. Naira. No, they are not my bank. Yes, I'm moving it there and exchanging it for any currency that or I want. Or probably keeping cor- cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency on that currency platform. On that platform. So saying that they got ag and the one that got ag is in naira and then, and then you are now you owing to me okay now here's the thing here um so do you i'm i'm going to assume that you you know the customers whose monies were in naira mm. but now everybody is seeing their money mm. um mm. held back i mean common sense here would be okay you, i i know one thing you, do, you want to avoid is to maybe avoid the equivalent of a bank run by saying, no, everybody can withdraw your money. But what you could do is, internally, you have your systems. They tell you, okay, this person, Bolu has his money in Naira, but Yinka has his money in USDT, for example. Okay, pay Yinka back. Like, not even on your own. He wants his money right now. Send his money back to him, and then find out how to worry about those who have their monies in Naira. But I think what they are trying to play here is um they want to probably still keep the business the business running and that means if you tell people okay now you 
everybody can withdraw their money. Such a situation, especially with the way it's dragged out, could mean that you lose, if not all your customers, but at least a significant um, portion. And having something like this hanging over your head also means customer acquisition will get harder because that this saga has dragged I don't, I don't think on. it's possible to, to get to even, even one customer. No, this so it, MMM came, there was a third, first, second, and third coming of MMM. No, People but fell for it's... It. Different version. There's different MMM. Different names. Na- different variations. Yeah, different so variations. Another company different names. But I think the same we also had. No, I think we had MMM. Uh, People, yes. Same name. Yeah, I think that was twice. Name. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. It wasn't I, once. I did not even try. So, I remember that back then, the uh, what's it called? internet situation and everything is not as like a lot more people are connected with internet lot yes but i hope you know that some people lost money the first time to yes. mmm and yeah. still lost the second time yeah, Same yeah, trying to play mmm them. so i think yes um customer acquisition will be more difficult it's very possible that they may not even get anyone but i think it will be more difficult so i guess what they are trying to do here is eat their cake and have it hold on to customer funds assuming they even have the money and ensure that you at least have some Save. money well, the moment, in the system. The moment you open up that you want to start business again and mm. people can start moving their funds, everybody will move out their funds. Yeah. And now that's number one. The number two is um, Bondu shut down recently, right? Yeah. Mm. And what they did is move people's funds to Binance. Okay. They are affiliated with Binance, yeah? Well, well Bondu did. is a Binance lab creation. Yeah. Yeah. So they so. move people's funds their Binance account. Mm. So, which is why the the math that Patricia is, that Patricia is selling, like the... It's not the it, it's, no, it's not. It's not the no. I mean, it's... It's, and it's and everybody's crying. It's making it even harder to, like... Because some of the customers I told, told uh, I spoke to, act, um, said they've not been able to access their money it has, like before they announced the act. Right, so the stories were from oh, congestion in the blockchain to maintenance <laughs> going on oh, to a, you, you know, you know those things like that. Start, it makes you start being Sorry, like. Wait, uh, I don't know. On. I'm not a blockchain person. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can me like that, but people use people use. There can be congestion on the blockchain. So. Yeah. I mean, uh, it depends on the, there are different kinds of blockchain. Traffic, traffic, like traffic, traffic on the blockchain. Jam. Yes, yes, <laughs> babies. Some blockchains are not that scalable. The old ones, for example, like Bitcoin, for example, it can get really slow, right? It but I thought people said this was going to change the world. Yeah, but they are, down they now. are iterating now. I don't it's care. an advancement. You keep growing. Keep all, your, all your fintech all boys and girls, yeah. all of them are using it. They are not just telling you, don't, don't worry. Care. I will show you. You show me what? They play. Anyway, right, moving away from, uh, Patricia, I think you spent I, enough time My heart's um, to you and I'm, I'm wishing them all the best. I hope they're able to get right, out of man. this. Um, so speaking about still on Unreliable, um, Kini, please, I need to know what. I've been having issues with MTN. Earlier we were complaining about how light goes off and um, network goes off as well. But in the last one month at least, I've spent more on data than I have in the previous month. And I don't know. So how much what's do you spend on data every month? Um so before I used to do average ten K. So I I, I probably lump like sum or bit by bit. Lump so sum. not really lump sum. Um, so I the first time I did like a lump sum of like fourteen, fifteen K. I didn't finish it. And you know how they behave. So I was like, okay. I roll over now. I didn't want to roll over because I think I got, um, I can't remember the, the exact one, but I think. It gets you about 100 to 150. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got 120 gig for that 15K. But for some reason, I didn't use up to 70 gig that month. So I just figured, okay, I've done this for like two or three months. I might as well just return to using half. Mm. But I'm now doing a cheaper one, 6.5. And I've already done two this month. And Sorry, do one more. this. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I won't be resor- resorting to violence. Anytime, but I'm serious. I've done two. And this is 26. Like, the last one finished um, like four days ago. So before the 22nd of the month, I've done like do you, do you use your phone with your laptop? Yeah, I do. But yeah. I've always been using that. I mean, updates, backups. Laptop updates. There might be things that are backing so, up that you um, don't know. My laptop updates... Um, yeah, it's it's it updates in the background, 
but it has also been updated in the background before now. There's really nothing that yeah, well, that to be bigger updating. Like yeah, yeah. Or maybe you are generating more data. Yeah, am I mining <laughs> crypto? <laughs> maybe people are sending you videos and pe- more people. Nobody is sending me any video. <laughs> is, why would anybody be sending me video? Am I? I don't know. I don't know what you're up to these days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm up to nothing. Nobody is sending me videos. But then you can send me videos. I don't mind. Um, just make sure. But really, me to I need um a solution to my problem. MTN. Wants it's to probably send just you. I mean, I remember that video for Sarah did. No, it's not, it's just where we was talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, where where he was explaining that telcos don't suck your data like people usually say. It's you that maybe there's something running on your phone, in okay. your background. I mean, there's this this bloatware, right? On mobile phones. I'm laptops. using a Samsung. This is not techno. They, there's no bloatware on. Sorry, yes. but it's not techno. It's not not discrimination, but it is what it is. No, vex. No, what is what is? No, vex. Techno comes with plenty Bluetooth now, like okay. unnecessary apps. But yes, um, no, 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 just what that that statement look as if um, people using techno. Uh, no, I mean they are the technos of seven hundred k now. Ah, no, there is one techno that yeah, was around six hundred k. Seven hundred thousand. No, there was. I know there's a techno that is over five hundred k. They have, have my do. <laughs> I be, yes, I be, I believe so. They have one big phone. So I'm like, they don't have flip. no. How? Uh, they've done flip. Oh. No, that phone is expensive. That phone is. That phone. Why no. would you even spend more than one twenty k or one fifty? Yes, I don't know. Five hundred there about. I, I, I anyway, don't remember. worry. Somebody's Please, business. Let's offer a disclaimer again. Once more, the opinions shared on this. Phone. Okay. Yes. Forget. It's their opinion. <laughs> 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 this one is not required disclaimer. <laughs> I'm telling you. But anyway, please, MTA, help my life. Um, if I spend too much money on, on data, I might have to be relocating out of Lagos. Thank you. Now, I'll find that video you're referring to. Okay. I'll watch it. Mm-hmm. When you're done, it's either myself and Fisaya are fighting or someone from MTN is fighting with me. Okay. Because I have spent too much money with them for them to be treating me like that. But yes, moving on to someone who is trying to break a relationship. Fidelity Bank is blocking transfer to OP, Money Point, and Pampi over KYC funds. So there's no there's no official statement. statement from Fidelity Bank saying yes, we are doing this, or any official acceptance that they are doing this. So this is just the users are saying they yeah. are yes. see those guys on their platform on their platform yeah. and stuff like that. Yes. And then, um, money money point said they confirmed the same thing that they were told and then yeah. OP, I think OP um, pound pay, I think um, pound pay said that they told them that they were doing some maintenance mm-hmm. and the, the uh, so it's it's really it's really dicey because yes KYC is very important and considering that these new banks some of them with just a phone number you can create a, a, an account yes. with them so, and stuff like that and let's not forget that OPA had this issue recently about customers saying that yeah. accounts were created without their consent. Okay, no, so this is it. That that one is so that one might not be true. The reason why I said that is you might have forgotten. Okay, uh, I used OPA back in 20, 2019 when the whole everything yeah. mm-hmm. stuff. And I've not so after Lagos State give them serve them breakfast and I mean serve the uh right dealing breakfast and all right yes, yeah I stopped using it because that was basically what I was using it for and I've not used it I don't think I've used it since then yeah I've not opened the app or used it since then and then now it's easy for me to forget that I've at a point. Had an OPA account, and then someone just say, Yes, you have an OPA account. Like, no, I do not have an OPA account. So it might just be, it might just be a case because at that point they were everywhere, yeah. true across all, almost all verticals. Yeah, so they were even you, the chance of you not using mm, them is, was, I get you. Yeah. So, I mean, so in that case, I think it's actually easy to confirm. So if I, um, I am, I'm, I'm assuming that financial institutions or if anybody has like data on when a particular account was created that a customer can pull up or request um, from. Yeah, it's it's going to be have to be from the financial institution, so not yeah. you. So it's yeah, the financial course, institution that will be able to have access to that and tell you, yes, you created this account on this particular date. So But then I yeah. I'm still inclined to like um believe or okay, let me not say believe, but you know 
I mean, thinking about why you know Fidelity Bank said oh, KYC issued fraud issues, mm-hmm. based on how easy it is to create these accounts, it is very possible that bad actors, right, would create accounts yeah. with, yeah, yeah. So, so and oh. then even because I've I've had to do some transactions right in the past, and once I see Pampe. I'm like, I don't, because the last time I did something with someone from Pampe, right, they sent me the money for some reason. <laughs> I could not access the money. Oh. I don't, like, when I called my bank, my bank was like, oh, the person said, told their own bank that they should get their money back. So like, now, which is, so at the point, <laughs> there's one vendor, I think it was a filling station, that won't accept any card from OP or Pampe because you use your card and then, you go and tell them. You go and register, complain that you did not use the card. So mm. they revive back the money. Mm. And then, whereas you've gotten the goods you paid for and so So, yeah. so, so that's basically like charge back. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm is, telling you. Which is something that I'm you can do with almost any, with any financial institution, actually. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So um, it's not, it, I won't say it's because of the ease, because I could make account opening very easy for you and still make you. Like fill out your KYC document to access to access certain services. services. So yes. yes, you want to open an account. Okay, just give me your phone number. Fine. Or you want to send one k? No, I like and just do it. Or you want to send twenty k? Okay. Um, I need your BVN for you to do that. Fine. Or I tell you, okay, um, you can't do more than X amount of transactions without Get um your BVN your or, or getting certain levels of um uh will I say. KYC um, status. QIC status. And I think that's what everybody does. Um, all the, Of course, I'm not using all the new banks, but I think all of them mm-hmm. do that. But we've had this conversation several days. Like, we've seen stories come up that their KYC checks are very lax because they're just trying to sign up as, as, many, as many as people many as people. possible. There could be something there, but I've been seeing some comments on Twitter since this story came out about it being almost like an anti-competitive move, trying to stop um what do you call it now trying to stop movement of money or funds to these accounts and <coughs> there may be something there but i think it's um it's just people grasping for straws in a way there may be something there yes but i don't know it doesn't sound very this credible is so for s- moving money out of traditional bank to new banks you are paying yeah. It's moving money from new banks to other banks that you are like most of them do free. free so transfers, yeah. even if it's anti community, you are still paying them or oh, transactional tra- charges. Yeah, I mean, some people are making it look like uh, they are trying to stifle their growth, but I do not see. So, except there's a concerted effort. See, How many customers, for example, used Fidelity Bank? Um, I don't know their numbers, but probably <laughs> they have under five, seven million um, users. It's it's very very possible that maybe only a fraction of your users use either of these guys that are that are being mentioned um or for for this to actually be effective you need like a concerted effort of at least the largest banks for this to happen i don't know that fidelity bank is the largest or one of the largest banks so i don't see how no, so it's really this is, i don't even think it's that competitive because yes these traditional banks are doing what these new banks are not doing okay their interest their interest rates for instance, loan interest rate, for instance, mm. like way, way lower than what these new banks are giving them. Yeah. So, and then, so I won't, because of free transfers, mm. carry my business to a new bank. Yes, I use, uh, I, I use Carbon. Like, mm. Carbon is probably one of the new banks that I use uh, 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 frequently. Mm-hmm. But any other one, no. Mm. No, no, I still use my traditional banks. My salary is Yes, I mean, so I think that, 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 that speaks to trust because I've had a few conversations and I've seen a few conversations around all of this where people are saying okay yes you guys give us fast quick transfers i can get my money instantly um free transfers as well like there's a there's more efficiency with new banks but can we trust you enough to keep our money with you that's that's a conversation that i've seen come up a lot i've not uh, so personally um i do not i use a few new banks but i've seen people who are scared they appreciate what the new banks do in terms of efficiency, but they're always worried. Okay, um, you guys shut down frequently mm. and That's you are <laughs> not always... Yeah. Uh, so, for example, your deposits in a PQVS, for example, is, is insured, mm. right? 
but not all other not all other fintechs mm-hmm. have that. So why should I move Bank, my Real money? Bank, by the fact of the fact that there are banks should be insured should, by yeah. NDIC. But then so yeah. now this is the, uh, the conversation with someone recently. So it's a case of use new bank, mm-hmm. but you only use it to receive payments. Yeah. And once it gets mm-hmm. the payment, exactly. it moves yeah, now to so yeah. yeah. number. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So I, so I, I don't it, that that competitive move. I, I don't think that I don't think that's valid. Of course, maybe over over. Okay, so for example, you mentioned carbon. I think one of the reasons why you have like that confidence in carbon is because of they've been around. Yeah. For a while, you've used them over you several years. I think I, I've probably been using my carbon account for maybe four, five, Seven. maybe six years now. I'm using them since twenty seventeen. Exactly. So that's like that's like five years. So if you've been using is it five five or six years almost six years anyway and they've been around more than that yes so if i know that you've been around for x amount of years but not you with um you just know you've been around for like two years maybe two and a half years and you expect trust i don't know i don't see it as anti-competitive i, I may be wrong you need to be corrected but i think it's more a case of this bank saying okay and so for the tech about report says this wasn't always happening, but they began to see an optic in fraud. This is also the year where we've seen, uh, this is the period where we've seen the fintech basically shut down because they were getting too many chargebacks. Yeah. And we've seen it happen repeatedly. Like new banks or uh, fintechs have had to shut down card services because of chargeback. And you can't tell me that it's simply because they do not want you to compete. It can't, it can't just be because of that. So, um, uh, Fidelity's decision could also be a case of, yes, looking at the data. So if I am a vendor, Mm. Um, people are buying from me using a particular bank's card yeah. and then each time at every point that i get uh, uh um i make a sale the mm. person reported it and the money goes back I'm looking okay is this happen uh, this is happening yeah you get getting yeah, this happening from? where is this happening from which mm. bank is the originating bank and yeah. if it's a case of new banks are i'm telling my bank that these guys are doing it and yeah. then the traditional banks has to, uh, you you, so you customer. look at the Absolutely. pattern. Yeah. Uh, the banks are like, yes, will, this is happening. So we need to just just block the loophole. The bank and the new banks solve the issue. Yeah. No, that's I mean, yeah, <laughs> they, they, they will. But um, I just wanted, like, I wanted us to have yeah. this conversation around that. Is it? Compet- is it? Are you trying to block it's, the competition? No, but yes, um, but I think KYC is actually important because you send very very important like because no I do not want to wake up one morning and then hear that the money that was in my account. Has been compromised, opportunity, opportunity. or even even the financial institution. I don't want to be getting complaints that, like something happened to your money or something like that. I do not want to be having my systems breached, or maybe my system being used to perpetrate fraud because it puts me in unnecessary trouble. And you've seen people paying money for tax evasion. You may now have to start out, and people who are struggling to repay money that they lost through a hack. You do not want something like that. And KYC could be. Um, one of the things that helps you at least mitigate it to, to a certain extent. So, yes, I think we are done with that. Um, so, we saw Ethel Africa launching 4G enabled smartphones in Rwanda. Um, they are planning to do that by 2024. We've also not seen a lot of fundraising this week. Very, very muted um, on that end. I don't know. Sapa. Yeah, things are. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it just Sapa or. You know, people are just now being more. I mean, you published an article this morning about how investors said the old misconduct, founder misconduct we've been hearing might hurt but, funding. But that's not. I mean, I mean, so startups I, in other claims are doing way more than that. Yeah. Like, you raise hundreds of millions of dollars and you say you are not doing down. again. Yeah. So it's not. It's she was discussing was scammed, you know, uh, sold uh, uh, company, and then at the end of the day, discover that the figure that you use yeah, and sell the it, company, and then the, the buyer is not a small company. So what are we saying? I think it's a. I think it's a. It's An economic. So, yeah, okay. I think. Yeah, I think it's. But then surprisingly, there are a lot of funds that have been raised over the, in, uh, this year yeah. alone for African startups. Like yes, this is a raising lot, like raising sixty five m, raising one hundred and fifty m. So uh, so now the deployment. They will start they will start next year. Because so last I checked, I think African startups have done like two point three billion this year, ha. which is low. I mean, last year point, no, it should be, it should be more than is, is it more than that? Okay, it should, it should be more than uh, but it's still about two point something billion. And last year, 
um, last year did nearly five billion, depending on who you're asking. Yeah. Sure. Between, <laughs> between four and yeah, five to, billion. To, to range. But if you're still under three billion, this is October. October is well, over. I man, don't see you. See someone do, do five M. I mean five hundred. Nobody's doing five hundred M. Surprise. <laughs> never, never, never seen never. I've uh, said never. You can place a bet. Oh, so what if Money Point did it? Money Point cannot do They've already raised this year now. Wow. People should place no, a bet. Their last bet is last year. Let's place a bet. Their last I'm not even betting. 500. Yes. Ooh. Well, we Nobody. Have yeah, have they have to <laughs> <laughs> Who was, that, was, that was like an entire fund. Uh, but, mean, uh, the last one that uh, OP did was 400. Mm. Yes. That's OP. So what are you saying? And then they did one around 70. In 2019, nobody's Let's we can place the best. Nobody's this, 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 this year. And you actually, no, yeah, you actually need like three, four see, people to do see. that for us to even hit four million. Hit that, so yes. I think this year has proven to be a tough year for everybody. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Startups are raising less. Investors yeah, as well are layoffs. Yeah, la- you are seeing a lot of layoffs. Um, Naira is doing as is doing its best to. I don't know. It's, Naira, it's going to <laughs> my prayers too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's uh, that's all we have for you on the podcast today. Thank you so much for staying with us to the end. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to all our newsletters. Just digest your daily briefing for all tech news. There is um, Intel Point. Okay, Intel Point. They will, they have to pay us for us to talk about them <laughs> in the newsletter. But so, they do so have that means a to pay me for pay me appearance. Um, so as I was saying, we are actually doing a favor by bringing you here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we are helping you sell your market. I Think about you. it. We have a larger you we know? have a larger audience, and we are plugging oh, you wow. in. So yeah, shout out to Intel Point for consistently giving us um, yeah, data. Yeah, they've been doing well. They've been by the way, if you want to partner with them, value. you can you can speak to me through. We can speak to Inka through me. Um, <laughs> I help with things like that, and we can come to. Oh, we did not talk about the modern workplace that happened. Yes. yes. How did we forget that uh, modern workplace Africa conference was on Saturday? It was it was a great um it was a great outing. We had from I mean personally, even though I, I was not exactly an attendee, I learned quite a few things mm. that I think if you were not there, yeah, sorry for you, especially if you run a company or you're you're an HR professional there. There's some very very interesting conversations around, actually, yeah, around in the in the master classes. But the thing is, if you if you if you talk to Nifemi nicely, you might be able to pay a fee to get the classes that were held. And thank you so much for everyone who came around for all to all the all the sponsors and all of that. Thank you so much. And um, do subscribe to all our newsletters, FinTech Today, um, the Digest, Equity Merchants that I write help my life. Um, subscribe <laughs> to my newsletter. And I promise you, your life will never be the same. So thank you so much. We've come to the end of this podcast. You can find us on Bolu. Yes. Uh, if you're an audio listener, you can always find us on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Art Radio, and any other platform you get your podcast. Anyway, with all that, shall I please um, <laughs> do your best to share any snippets, like they say, any of, this, any of these snippets, any part of the podcast that blesses your life or ministers to you, please share it. Um, if you feel like um, we've made a mistake, or we've misrepresented facts, also feel free to send us a message. We'll correct that. We try our best or do our best to uphold the truth and not about the truth. I did to say that. So, yes. Yeah, um, thank you so much for seeing with us today. And this is getting long enough. And yeah, your sign we'll out see is you. your sign out has plenty. Been, it's been too long. <laughs> but we'll see you next week. <laughs> same time so next good. year. No, I, I said it already. You said that. You're not, you're yeah. not yeah. following. It was so because you, you, you see that it was not, not that Are you about to blame me for, uh, for something that? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Bye. Yes, we'll see you next week. Same time, same station. Bye. Peace.